Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I make games, play games, and everything in between. And today we are checking out Hextaco. Before I get started, don't forget to like and subscribe as I put out videos daily where I'm making and playing games. This game came out in October 2018. We have the Hextaco getting bigger, smaller, the start button fading in and fading out, and a bunch of hex like objects in the background. Welcome, thank you for playing. Here's a short tutorial. Move player by touching screen and dragging. Obstacles, avoid hitting these obstacles. Ooh, look at the player, he's cool. Like doing a little spinny spin spin. Collect gems, avoid obstacles, collect gems. This is cool, so this is like decorations in the background. It's worth 50 gems, I care. And there's a skip button up on the top in case I wish to skip. Get these magnets, yep. Ooh, what does the lightning do? The lightning is a path. So, looks like there are wake-up spawners to some of these hexagon shapes. And when they wake up, they move in certain directions, either a path or transform, moving the characters back and forth. This game definitely gives me the feeling that I have plenty of time. I'm not sure if it's slowly speeding up or not, but I don't believe the screen is. Oh yeah, getting a magnet to get a magnet, that's kind of pain. Oh, okay, here we go, it's got some challenging stuff in the game. I was just about to say the game's not challenging, but I would have been speaking too soon. Oh, I missed it. Ah, yeah, 50 to continue, that's cool. 50 to continue, yes. I like the ability, so I have 80 coins and I can continue for 50 coins. This I think is an amazing feature, one which I am trying to implement in my current game. However, I've had trouble to do it. The upside is playing this game gives me the confidence to know that it is probably possible to do it because if someone can do it, then I can do it. So I got 100. All right, now I need to not use all my coins to continue because let's try to keep it, oh sh shit. Wake up spawners. So you just kind of want to get close enough to move the objects out of, out of your way. It's okay, that's like worth a continue. Again, this is why it's important to play games that you have been, oh shit you haven't made is, you know, I'm actually trying to do a continue button. The hours that I've spent so far have failed to, oh shit, get the continue button, to get that continue button to work. So when I see it here in this game, I'm just like, yeah, that's great. That means if I just spend more time trying to, oh shit, spend more time trying to figure it out, I'll be able to. Here it does look like it's set up that you know you can get so many coins that you never really have to start from the beginning. You know, my gameplay won't be like that. Shit. But it's cool to see someone utilize coins for continue. I do think it depends on the type of game you're making, you know, what you have in mind, because everyone's got something in mind. It may be useful or it it may not work well. Here we can see it can clearly be done. Like if I just die, I had 180, so now I have 130. All right, well, I think this game is great. I'm loving the continue button. This definitely gives me fire for my own game that I'm making. Check it out, links down below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Until then, I will see you next time.